I think we're about to start. Um, it's time for me to actually get some company on stage. It has been a lonely venture so far. So uh, here behind me, I have two uh, local heroes, uh, Mikaela Walterson, uh, chairperson of the regional board of uh, um, Halland, and we have Anne-Marie Bartolson, uh, senior development manager at Region Halland, and we should be joined by Anders Nelson on Zoom, uh, deputy vice chancellor of Halmstad University. So it's nice to have you all here. Um, you represent regional interests uh, from different perspectives, and you have a long history of trying to collaborate between different actors in the region. Um, and you have seen this play out for a long time in Holland. You have long experience, all of you. Um, I would like to start by asking, what are the unique challenges for our particular region? Uh, what's unique about Holland in this sense? Maybe Anne-Marie would like to start? Uh, I'd say... Um we are part of Sweden, part of Europe, part of the world. I'd say our challenges are almost the same as in all other regions. Uh, we have um, a population that is getting older and older, which is, of course, wonderful that we can grow old. But it also uh, means that our um, we, we will be fewer people that could um, do healthcare. Uh, in the future. And that's the same in Holland uh, as everywhere else. Mm. But then again, I think we have uh, unique possibilities to um, cope with that as we actually, I think, um, size matters in this case, as it is easier to collaborate when you are fewer people around the table. And in Holland, we are only six uh, municipalities, one healthcare organization, and one university, it's, it's sizable, it's, it's, it's good. Great. So on that note, um, uh, Michaela, could you tell us a little bit more about how you're working with these common directions? Uh, first, I want to thank the organizers for bringing us all together today to inspire and share ideas that can lead to better lives for many. As a, as a politician, I'm proud of the successful collaboration we do have between stakeholders in Holland, including counties, this university, uh, companies and the region I represent, as well as natural and international parties. I value the important mutual benefits of the life science industry and healthcare that will help us tackle challenges that lie ahead and we will face together by applying new ways of working and doing so based on science and knowledge within the framework of information-driven care. It is up to us all to continue building an environment where companies can grow, knowledge can be created and healthcare can excel for the good for the people we are serving. I am convinced that we are on the right path. Thank you. Okay, great. Um, so, Anders, um, collaboration across different disciplines and organizations is hard. Uh, can you speak a little bit about why it's so important to get this collaboration working? What are the benefits? I mean, <clears throat> as a university, a rather new university, we have a strong tradition of collaboration uh, with society. And we think that it's very important that the research we do are linked to the needs in society and that it promotes uh, utilization. And I, I would like also to comment a bit on about what Anne-Marie said, that this uh, quite small region and the municipalities and the university, maybe size is one reason why we have had so good collaboration climate and uh, processes for working together uh, in many areas, uh, especially in health innovation, but also in many other areas. And maybe to use the same logics inside of the university, a quite small university, we have always needed to work in interdisciplinary uh, modes uh, in order to solve the real world uh, pro uh, problems. And yes, it's a tradition at the university to us work across boundaries. It's not easy always, but we work hard to do it. And I think that uh, the researchers uh, do it uh, very well, not least in this area and i think that's why we together with the uh, region the municipalities and other stakeholders have been really successful and i'm really looking forward to to listen to the latest news about uh, innovation driven care uh, today 
Excellent. So um, it seems uh, like you all three are very, um, you agree that this organization and collaboration uh, is really happening. So can I be so um, uh, frank and ask, can you give us an example of a good uh, collaborative success story from uh, uh, this region? Well, uh, I've been in, into this area like 10 years, so I have a, a, f a few um, good examples. They might be old, but never. Okay. nevertheless, uh, we had v in the very early stage a very good example where uh, people from uh, um, the municipalities said that there are such a big problems uh, with key keys in home care and uh, people from this uh, university uh, solved that um, problem and started a company uh, and that company I think it's one of the biggest companies in Holland those days uh, so that's an example of solving a, an actual problem that n no one knew about um, outside uh, that um, area and you collaborate, you ask each other what's your problem and someone else solves the problem and we have um, attractiveness and um, uh, a new company. Hmm. Wonderful. Great story. Um, <laughs> it's an old story. Yeah, there are no, much no, better no, no. stories, but I couldn't <laughs> remember one. Uh, Michaela, do you have any uh, examples from your background? Uh, we talk a lot about uh, the information at, in COVID now, and how we can uh, uh, do the system better in, in Halland with the information we have about uh, the people that lives in, in Halland. And uh, we, know, we know much more today than we did a couple of years ago. And I think that's the future to work smarter with the information we have. Mm. Uh, and uh, that's why this uh, uh, this uh, work we do with, with uh, Högskolan and uh, uh, is very important. Yeah. And uh, Anders, from your perspective, what are some uh, success stories? I'm, I'm not sure <clears throat> that we know uh, yet exact what the different successes will be from this collaboration. I think that, of course, uh, researchers can do very applied uh, projects to solve very specific problems, uh, as the one Anna Maria talked about. But I think also that bringing all this expertise uh, together is uh, is making um, a lot of new things happening that you are not really aware of from the beginning. It's a problem, but gradually when you work together, you see how you can improve everything from small individual uh, difficulties that you have, but also to change uh, whole, the whole system. But I, I would also like to ask, how, how prominent is the patient's perspective in, in your uh, collaborations? Uh, what's in it for them? I mean, that's basically why we're doing all this, right? So, so how do you work with that concretely? Well, uh, we have this uh, uh, healthcare, uh, healthcare technology um, center that's now uh, called Leap for Life. That's one uh, of the areas where we can, we can um, people, patients uh, or pe old people, any, anyone can come with their problems and the problems can be discussed and also uh, solved uh, when it comes to people from researchers, uh, companies and so on. So I'd say that that perspective is always very uh, nearby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would say that that's the most important aspect. Uh, we are doing this for because we know that uh, we are getting more older people in Holland and we have uh, less uh, what to say uh, less people at work in in the future so we really have to do it the smart way mm. and the best way and I think this uh, uh, this thing we're doing together is uh, helping us finding those ways yeah Anders do you have uh, some well, I, can, I can maybe add that we, we not only 
take the patient's perspectives in the research, but we also involve the patients mm. very much. It's a tradition also that we have at the university to work very, very much with participatory projects, participatory designs in, in research to, to actually involve the public and the community in what we're doing. So uh, I can just agree uh, with what was said, and uh, it's very important. How, how can you solve problems if, if the users are not involved? Yeah, uh, so um, just to give all the attendants um, a little uh, like snapshot of here and now, what is your current focus? I mean, after you leave this uh, stage, what will you go work on? Um, I will, as we always work on, this, uh, this thing we do together. And it's uh, a thing that we've done for 10 years mm -hmm. uh, together in Holland. Uh, and uh, we will keep on doing that work. Okay, yeah, great. Yes, uh, I think you said it very, very good. Uh, I think uh, what's really in, uh, in focus now is how we can implement uh, data-driven uh, information into more areas. Yes. Um, that's something that I would say is quite unique here in, in Holland at this very moment. And we really want to, to figure out how we can be do the best thing about that for the patients, uh, for companies, and for our own uh, organizations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anders? <coughs> uh, we have done it a long time, and, and we will continue to synchronize our strategy documents, our operational plans, uh, to, to integrate and continue to integrate the organization for working together with so many stakeholders. It's very important, uh, even if I would like to say in the last 10 years, we have had a number of pioneers, individual people in region Halland at Hamster University who paved the way and worked very hard for this, but it cannot rely uh, only on individuals. So we have to work uh, strategically and structured to, to organize uh, the future work uh, together. Excellent. So um, if uh, each of you would like to pinpoint just one biggest challenge from your perspective, and let's start with Anders this time. What is the biggest challenge to, to uh, make this collaboration happen from the university's point of view? Oh, that's a tricky uh, question. I, I think, at least from... Uh, it, it's to, to gather the exact uh, right... Uh, groups of expertise and to find or to find all the pieces of the puzzle that is needed it uh, needs a, a lot of different uh, qualities to work in in big interdisciplinary teams and to to uh, recruit the right uh, people for the, for the projects that's the most important maybe the biggest challenge okay uh, and from uh, uh, Michaela's perspective, what's your biggest challenge? Legislation, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Legis legislation? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we have a lot of uh, information that we can't use. Uh, mm. If we could use it, we could do better for, for uh, and uh, uh, in the system. So we have to do something natural to, to mm. make a difference. Interesting. And uh, Anne-Marie? Uh, as I'm responsible for business development in Holland, I'd say one one challenge is to to get all or a lot of companies from Holland to join in and be a part of this development. Um, that's the challenge. Mm -hmm. um, and even from other countries. Other countries too, but at this very moment, I think we have more companies looking at Holland, wanting to collaborate with us from other countries, which is lovely. But we also need our own companies to to join in and see um, what's in it for them in this. Yeah. Great. Uh, so um, I would like to thank you all for coming. Uh, thank you, Anders, Michaela, and Anne Marie. Thank you. Um, and uh, good luck with uh, your collaborations thank in you. the future. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you.